WTF! All right, so guys, it's it's been a minute since we had Art on a WTF, so we it's been a while. Definitely glad to have him back in the studio. So um, glad to be back, Johnny. I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely glad to have you back, Art. Uh, so today's WTF is uh, one of the ones that kind of plays on the 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 saying that says that art imitates life or life imitates art. Yeah, that deal, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. So one of those things where you see a movie and you're like, hey, that could happen in real life. Or hey, that movie is based on something that happened in real life, right? Yeah. Well, in today's WTF, there was a woman who was casted in a horror film and then was later charged in a murder case. <laughs> was the movie an inspiration? I would think so. At least that's the way it comes off when I first read the article is that, man, she figured out how to murder somebody from the movie. Not, to, not the case, though. Not the case, though. We have a 30-year-old Iceland Tucker Moore Reed. Yeah, that's her name. That's a <laughs> mouthful was cast in an indie film called From the Dark, right? Then shortly after the, it actually got done filming, the day after, to be honest, they, uh, they charged, they didn't charge her, I'm sorry. She was, uh, she was arrested and held without bond for her part in a murder, which they actually labeled as, or they calling it self-defense, but it's actually going down as manslaughter for her uncle. <laughs> wow. Thoughts, sir? How do you feel about well, that? Well, first of all, does she not see the whole script? Because if, if, if how to get away with it was part of her <laughs> basing it off the movie. Well, the uh, the details of it is that uh, she was actually she was actually charged with this before she actually got cast in the film. But uh, when they released her after she had been charged, when they released her on her bail uh, after she'd been charged, I believe it said like five days later, she took a part in this. <laughs> So, they, they, so the whole time while she's doing the filming of this, the producers, she's got a murder charge on yeah, her. Yeah, the producers <laughs> never bothered uh, uh, doing a ba you know background. Any, like, their due diligence was just none. Which is funny. It was like it was like, do you know what it feels like to be somebody who's who, who's running oh, from a murderer? This person, you know what it, it feels this like. This person's be, just acting really well. I mean, I think, undiscovered talent. How do they tap into these I emotions? Know, I think one of the. I think one of the. Uh, I think one of the comments on it was saying that uh, she knew how to play like somebody who had been stressed so well. <laughs> Maybe because she killed somebody. Uh, <laughs> they haven't said exactly when the actual hearing will be for her, for her to actually appear in court. Uh, she is claiming self-defense with this manslaughter charge. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know the details because they really didn't it, release all that type of stuff, but it is your uncle, so I kind of wonder what went down there. Maybe it was he was a dirty uncle. Maybe he was a di dirty uncle, and if that's the case, then this will this. So if they make a if they make a movie based on her life, will it be the sequel of From the Dark? Ooh, that's interesting. <laughs> they could they could do the twist uh, or not the twist. They can follow the same as. Uh, the Human Centipede, and then you know. Oh God! Please never bring that movie up again. I was thinking Wes Craven's New Nightmare, where they they actually went like, "Hey, these are the actors," and then Freddy's really trying to get the actors, actors of the movie, and it was like, "Hey, this is the person that was running away from the horror slasher guy in the from the dark. Now she's a murderer." <laughs> yeah, but it's still like, it's still not believable. The Human Centipede is like, "Hey, these." That is I, such a messed up movie. I really want to try I, these people. I'm really going to do these to these people. How did we get to Human Centipede here? Yeah. Well, you're the one that actually told me I should see it. Yeah, no, 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 never see that movie. Never. But Our take is home. <laughs> <laughs> well, one other thing. All right. Okay. Do you think this helps sells? Oh, yes, definitely. It just draws I attention. Wouldn't, I wouldn't have wanted to see this movie, but now I do. <laughs> now I do. I want to be watching the film and be like, oh, yeah, she looks like she killed somebody. She definitely <laughs> she killed somebody. Look, oh, look, yeah. look, the oh, way yeah, she had yeah. that knife in her hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I bet you that's the way she stabbed him. Uh -huh. When she's holding that gun, I bet you she shot him just like that. See, you don't go in and shank like that. Everybody thinks you shank like that. No. You have to turn it. You go inside. Go like so. Sideways. <laughs> like this, they can block it. It's harder to yeah, block sideways. There, you know, you get the whole elbow action and stuff like, well, that didn't look right. Um, anyway. Uh, <laughs> well, was home. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, tell us what you think. Well, are you going to watch this movie? I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I may. I may. After I watch The Human Centipede, it's like third time, fourth time. Uh, have you ever committed a murder? Tell us. No, don't tell us, please. <laughs> I don't want to be an accessory to your crime. I don't want to know that at all. 
Don't tell me about the murders that you committed. Lie to me. Have you ever gotten a job and lied and then found guilty? For what you lied about? Yeah, like did you steal something and then go work for that same company and then they found that out later? That would be cool. That, that would, would be, be cool. Yeah. That would be cool. I mean, hook me. Not cool that you did that. That'd just be a cool story. Hook me. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, don't forget to follow us, like us, do all that good stuff to us. All right, so for Manny, who is out away on location on another show, I hope he does well and represents us well. I'm Terrence. I'm Art. You guys take care.